give the chicken wire ghost a beautiful makeover. Sorry, can't help myself. So here's what you're gonna need to make this project. Lots of cheesecloth, glue, chicken wire, plastic wrap, a styrofoam head, and a needle and thread. The first thing is to make the shape of the ghost out of chicken wire. Heads up, wear gloves and long sleeves if you don't wanna get shredded by the ends of this chicken wire. Make a billowing skirt out of the chicken wire, cinch it at the top, and then cover it with plastic wrap. The next part we're gonna to put together is the torso. So we're gonna leave the bottom of it open, wrap it around to make the shape. We're gonna create her womanly shape, and then we're gonna fold over the top. And once again, we'll cover everything with plastic wrap. Then I use the length of my arms to guide how long I wanted to cut the chicken wire. I, we make two cylinder shapes and then cover it with plastic wrap. Next, we're gonna look at her head. So we're gonna cover her head in saran wrap and we're gonna use some tape to stick under her eyes, around her nose and her lips just to really make sure that the saran sticks to the styrofoam and shows her features. To make the cheesecloth stiff, we need to make a glue mixture. So we're gonna to need to make two parts glue to one part water, mix it together. Then you're gonna cut your cheesecloth down to size and dip your cheesecloth into the glue mixture. You're gonna to wanna to squeeze out the excess glue and open it up slowly and then you're gonna drape it over your form that you've made. We are doing each body part separately and then allowing it to dry. I'm making sure that I'm putting two layers of cheesecloth to ensure we get enough stiffness once the glue dries. So we cover her face with the cheesecloth and we started to notice that it wasn't state showing her prominent features as much so we had to do a little bit of quick thinking we covered some rocks in saran and placed those over her eyes to really give her those eye sockets and we made sure we wrapped an elastic around her neck to really try and tighten up that area there with the cheesecloth too now we're going to put it aside and leave it to dry for about two days now the cheesecloth is stiff we can remove the inside form. To do that, I am going to squeeze it a little bit gently and where there's openings, I could reach in and squeeze the chicken wire together and then gently pull it out. So now we have all these body parts. Let's Frankenstein her and put it together. Using white thread and a needle, you're gonna sew the body parts together in place. I think she turned out great. If you love Halloween as much as I do, stay tuned to the channel for more projects.